Hi friends, thanks for visiting my video blog. I am starting a new series on trees. The first one in this series is Alstonia scholaris or Devil's tree or Blackboard tree or Saptaparni. While Saptaparna is a Sanskrit name, the tree is also happens to be the sacred tree for the second Jain Tirthankar, Ajit Natha. The name comes from the arrangement of the seven leaves in each club, where you can see a flower now. This tree is common to southern China, tropical Asia and Australasia. It's a common ornamental plant. It's a toxic plant, but it is used traditionally for many diseases and complaints. I am making this video blog by October end where this tree is in bloom and in the evening many flowers start emitting their fragrance which overwhelms a particular local area with such a profuse flowering many species of birds butterflies and insects one can see on this tree wood of this tree alstonia scholaris has been recommended for the manufacture of pencils as the tree grows rapidly and it's very easy to cultivate its wood close to the root is very light and white in color so in borneo it was used for net floats in theravada buddhism the first buddha is said to have used scholaris as the tree for achieving enlightenment the 1889 book of the useful native plants of australia states that the powerfully bitter bark of this tree is used by the natives of India in vowel complaint. It has proved a valuable remedy in chronic diarrhea and the advanced stages of dysentery. Saptaparni has found the medicinal uses in all the three namely Ayurvedic, Homeopathic and Folklore system of medicine in India. As said earlier, it is used in diarrhea, malaria, azotonic, febrifuge, immunogogue, anticholeritic and vulnerary. There is a large number of companies who are promoting scholaris as a health food. It is also used to treat chronic skin ulcers given to lactating mothers to increase lactations, helps post delivery weaknesses and digestion. The herb improves the digestive system and acts as a antipyretic it is also used for the liver disorders the fragrance which is produced by scholaris tree also happens during the daytime but because of the wind velocity the fragrance is not felt much however in the evening when the air stops flowing it is felt so this fragrance is produced by the flowers mainly for attracting their pollinating insects especially moths during the dusk and early dark hours many people experience the uncomfort in breathing because technically getting air fully into the lungs because of the presence of the fragrance also some people living in the vicinity of scholaris tree experience 
स्लिपलेसनेस और स्लिपिंग डिफिकल्टी इन फ्लॉरिंग सीजन पॉलिनेशन ऑफ द फ्लावर्स इज डन मोस्टली बाय द बीज बटरफ्लाइज एंड बर्ड्स वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो आई होप यू हैव लाइक्ड इट